everybody, Frank Gray here. I'm here with Tim Carroll. What branch are you from? Community Pacific Mortgage. Community Pacific. You want to look in that hole right there? Right there. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Where are you out of? Santa Rosa? Santa Rosa. Santa yeah. Rosa. Okay, that's exactly. good. How long have you been with uh, in the first party organization? Just under two years. Okay. Yeah, I'm about 12 years in the business. Oh, cool. Good. So you got a vet. We got a veteran here. Yep. Got a vet. Uh, the reason I have Tim here is, is he wanted to, he was willing to share some really cool stuff uh, on this business booster that I think is going to be very helpful to you. Um, it's the kind of thing that um, I've actually always been interested in. I've heard of people doing this. You know, I actually tried it a little bit on my own, but just you know, I give it, I swear, maybe a week's worth of energy, and I just moved on to other things. But I know it's something that can be really lucrative and can be really well done, and you're doing it. We're doing so it. So I, I just want to kind of pick your brain about it. And what he's doing is, is he's doing the bank thing, where he's going into like the, you're going into like banks and credit unions. Correct. And, and uh, getting their fallout stuff they can't do or things they're having problems with. I mean, it's just a, it's that. a dream thing, right? It's kind of almost a fancy thing for most loan officers, you know, to be able to pick up that loose business. You Correct. know what I mean? But breaking into those uh, relationships is kind of tough, isn't it? It is. That's the hard part. What would you say, how did you go about initially, well, first of all, let me ask you this. How many banks would you say you're working with right now? Well, I've been doing this for probably eight years now, and uh, we've probably consolidated it down to about eight to ten banks that That's we work lot. with on a regular basis. That's still a lot. Uh, but we've been able to kind of channel our way into one of the biggest local banks in our area mm -hmm. that has about 15 branches. Nice. And we're working with the top, their, their home loan division. Okay. And we have the commitment from their home loan manager when they can't do a loan, it goes they to call you. us. Man. How did you, uh, bear in mind a lot of these guys out here watching this, uh, Tim, they're like, you know, where do I even start? I mean, do I make a phone call to a loan officer at a bank? Do I send a letter to uh, a manager? I mean, how do I get, just start me getting talking to the right people? Right. Save, save these guys some time. What, right. How do you do it? No, you, you, you got to go into the branch. Okay. And when you go into the branch, basically your first objective is to contact the branch manager. Okay. Um, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but what you're going to realize these people are very nice, and if you explain yourself and express yourself very concisely, they'll understand why you're there. Okay, um, let me interrupt you there. When you say explain yourself very concisely, are you saying, are you coming across to them like, hey, you know, I'm not your competition, I don't do car loans, I don't issue credit cards, I don't have savings accounts, I don't do checking accounts, all I do is mortgages, is that kind of what you're saying? Or? Basically, yeah. We want to let them know who we are and that we would like to team up with them and work with them on their turndowns. Uh, obviously, we explained the, what you just explained, that we, you know, we're not a competitor, we're not looking for their deposits, we're not trying to steal their credit card business or their CD business. We do loans, and we only want to do loans that they cannot do. Yeah. And our, our spiel is very simple, don't say no, say Community Pacific Mortgage. Uh, the bulk of the people that apply for loans at the branch are their depositors. Some people have been there 10, 20, sure. 30 years. Yeah. And when they have to turn them down, you know, there's some ruffled feathers. Yeah, they don't like that. Correct. Yeah. So this is a soft and easy landing for the loan agent yeah. and or the branch manager yeah, yeah. to say, gosh, we can't help you, but here's a card of somebody who might be able to help you. Okay. So let's let's stay in the beginning of the, the the beginning of developing these relationships now. So you approach the, the branch manager. Correct. You give them a pitch, right? Correct. So we have, just like with anything, guys, right? You have to have your initial approach, right? So I guess it's what uh, Tim is saying. is with the branch manager, letting them know what you do. You only do loans. Uh, letting them know you're not as competition in any other realm, okay? And then is it uh, just, do you, how long did you have to follow up with said manager before he finally kind of gave in? And how did you do that follow up? Well, it, it varies. We try to hit each bank in, uh, at least twice a month. So okay. we go into the branch twice a month. Uh, if we go in, we, we tried going in every week and it was too much. You don't have that much to talk about on yeah. a weekly basis. Yeah. So we found if we went in twice a month, uh, we try to befriend the, the branch manager. It's simple as that. I mean, were you uh, bringing, you know, cookies, a bag of cookies? Were you doing the typical kind of thing like a wholesale rep does to us, basically? It, exactly the same thing. By the second or third visit, they, they get the pastries or the donuts or the bagels yeah. or the candy or the little the little yeah, gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my wife's great at that. My wife is my business partner, and she's now the point person on this. Okay. And, um, you know, she's the girl next door, so that helps, okay. I think. Uh, uh, just to uh, ask another, interject another question here. So, and if you hear what he's saying, I mean, it wasn't like he walked into a bank manager and said, here's our pitch, da da da, -da and loans started flying out of the bank into him. This took, what, does it take a couple months, two or three months before you really start seeing some uh, 
on the average, would you say, how long does it take before you start getting some fruit? Good out question. Of this? I, I think it depends. Every branch is different. Every branch manager is different. Let's every say what was, the, what was the quickest experience? What was the longest experience? What would you quickest say? experience was first visit? We got a file. Wow. Okay. okay. Uh, in some cases, we never got a file, and so we dropped those branches. After I mean, how long did you drop the ones you never got? It? How many months? Three months. About three months. I mean, okay. if after three months, there's no warm fuzzy, and, and that's that's one of the things that goes hand in hand with the banks. They're, they're a little stuffy sometimes. Yeah. You got to break through that. Uh, yeah. That's just how they are. They're bureaucratic. They're a little stuffy. They're a little more conservative, and so you know, we give we give about three months, and if we can't turn them, if, if we can't turn them into yeah. cheerful, happy people, and they're not receptive, then we can't waste our time. Just kind of move there. on from there. Right. Okay. So now we've gotten our approach. We've done our follow up to try and get some business out of these accounts. We start getting some business out of these accounts. Are you like um, keeping them apprised of the situation on each loan as it goes through, as if they're a partner of yours? Basically? Absolutely. That, that, that's crucial. Um, and, and that's how you solidify the relationship yeah, with them. Yeah, I would think so. They, they love to hear back from you. Yeah. Uh, they want to know exactly what's going on. Even when it's, hey, we couldn't help them either. And, right. and right now, as I mentioned on the phone the other day, uh, we had, uh, two weeks ago, we had eight files in, in one visit given to us. Literally, eight, eight loan files. Man. Refinances, awesome. all of them. And unfortunately, with the mortgage industry on its butt right now, I could not do six of them for sure. I have one that I, is in escrow, and we have one pending for three months when his prepayment penalty falls yeah. off. So we got eight files, and we have two pending loans from it. Had this been six months ago, I probably would have had four deals. Yeah, yeah, they're they're experiencing the same thing we're experiencing. So. Correct. Yeah, but they're more conservative. Their underwriting is much more conservative. Okay. And I, I have to tell you this, guys. They appreciate it. They're saying, God, you know, we had somebody stop by uh, two years ago and, yeah. and, and, and we haven't seen anybody since. Yeah. The other thing they tell us is that they have seen a couple of loan agents over the years, but they would come in once, maybe twice, and they'd fall off the plan. That's the whole thing. You know, I'm glad you bring that up, Tim, because I tell that to my people all the time. And it's it's not, it's even with real estate offices, it's the same thing. It's just that consistency, right? You just got to gotta make it a plan. I'm going every two weeks, by golly, and I'm going to be there every two weeks, and it's over. And, you right? know, the, the rule in marketing is tell them. Tell them you told them, and keep on reminding them. Yeah, and and, and they really appreciate that. Yeah. They, they really do. Now, the the key thing is this: is uh, you know the realtor the realtor business is great, but every loan agent is going into the realtor offices. Sure. Okay, nobody's going, going into, into the, the banks. banks. Period. Yeah. You have no competition at all. Zero. Since you have such good experience with this, let me ask you this: Are there any particular banks that you feel are more approachable or easier to break into than others? You know, it, it comes down to the branch manager. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's a Wells Fargo or your little Napa Credit Union. I mean, it it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it, you know, we've had we have great relationships with Washington Mutual. Wow. And we have great relationships with our local bank uh, that I mentioned. Okay. Uh, we also are breaking in at the top from the top down in this case with our local credit union. So okay. it depends on the personalities. It depends on the branch manager. Yeah. Um, so no, I, I would say every branch is a potential. And yeah. it comes down, if you have an ultra-conservative branch manager who is maybe more by the book, maybe a little less stuffy, a little less personable, it, it may not happen, but that could happen in a local small institution as well. So it's completely dependent upon the branch managers. Okay. And in addition to the branch managers, we also ask their permission to just introduce ourselves and get to know the loan agents. So yeah, we, yeah. we have a lot of the deals coming directly from the loan agents From the loan themselves. agents themselves. Correct. Yeah, that makes sense. So, but your initial approach is the manager, yes. not the loan agent. That is correct. Then there's a there's the additional follow-up. You give about three months, something like that. If you're not cracking anything, you kind of let them go. Right. right? And, and use your gut. I mean, if you, you can feel it. If you know it's after out. two or three visits that this person is just shutting you out. You're like, get out of here. Yeah. You, you know, don't waste your time. There's so yeah. many banks out there. There is a lot. And, and, and nobody is doing this. Nobody yeah. is doing this. And, and when I tell you guys, I got eight files two weeks ago. I'm not. There's no exaggeration wow. there. And um, it's worth it. Tim, if I put a post in the business booster section of Lenny, um, is, can you keep an eye on that? If people might be chiming in and want to ask you some more questions, sure. can you keep an eye on that? I will, I mean, and you and can call me. I'm in Lenny. You're in Lenny, so they can give you a call, shoot you an email, something like that, to ask you some more questions. You don't mind sharing any of this? Not at all. I had a couple man, guys call me last week. so week. awesome. So, um, it's really, really cool that you're willing to share that yeah. stuff with us, man. And, uh, Definitely. Man, we really appreciate having you down here today. You got it's it. It's been awesome. It's my pleasure. Man. Well, hey, thanks a lot, Tim. All right, thanks, Frank. Really appreciate it. Frank did get his haircut. <laughs> you guys go get him. Go sell him. Go talk to some bank people. It works. <laughs>